remember, always take your rubbish home. to fast forward, then you won't be able to see me doing this. <laughs> and uh, if you've got your washing machine tuned to us, this is just about done. <laughs> but if you have your telly tuned to fast forward, then you're in time to hear the result of the first ever England-Scotland knitting competition. The result was a tie. <laughs> but now for some even bigger knits. You've got your instructions, it's time you got started. Could I just go over it once again, my friend? No. I go due north. The south. South, south. Uh, then uh, west. No, east. East. So it's south, then east, then uh, north. No, south again, you idiot. For heaven's sake, we've given you a map. Can't you read it? Oh, it's no use. You'll have to come with me. I'll never find the toilet by myself. <laughs> You can pop uh, in, Mr. Really Neighbour. Doreen. Uh, uh, we don't usually uh, get visitors, do we, Doreen? No, indeed. Oh, thank you. oh <laughs> try some of Doreen's homegrown raspberries. Yes, thank, thank, thank you very much, indeed. Thank right. you. That's lovely. lovely. Doreen made the bottle. Did she? Did she? Yes, yes. It's, uh, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Well, uh, there's, there's nothing uh, like doing it yourself. Uh, no, no, indeed. No. Enjoying them, aren't you? Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Mm. Just you wait and see what we've got for you for mm. afters. Mm. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Ta-da! Home-baked bread! Oh. And Doreen's individual potato and banana jam. <laughs> well, why buy Mac from the shops when you can make your own? Yeah, ab absolutely. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, did you see the Cortina house uh, out there yeah. on the oh. side of the window? Oh, see yes. there out the window? Right. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to turn it into two motorbikes and a um, sofa. There, there, yes. there, uh, there, there seems to be a beetle in, in the raspberries. Oh! And that'll be one of ours. You know, we've been breeding our own beetles now for years. <laughs> Doreen's making a cage for them at the moment. Yes. I, 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 I think I'll, I'll just pop this uh, in, in the bin. The bin. Uh, you, you uh, uh, ah, there, there seems to be something in the, in the bin. Oh, silly. Yeah, that's its homemade cabbage and onion pop. <laughs> Let me right. get I you a mug full. No, 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 that's, that, that's all right. I really no, have, have, no, no, have, no, 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 I, I insist. I insist. Of, um, I've got two and a half uh, thousand litres to get through. Have you really? There you are, good, good Go on, well, enjoy yourself. Go on! <laughs> After that, you must try some of our rubber plant punch. <laughs> I, uh, I, I think I'm going to be sick. A whole super! <laughs> that will give me a chance to try out my uh, latest invention. Yes. <laughs> my homemade sick bag. That's <laughs> pending. <laughs> the serrated egg took me ages. <laughs> More pop, Mr. Neighbour. There was pandemonium in the house this morning. My wife couldn't find her best pink frock anywhere. I couldn't find a clean pair of socks. The dog ate the cat's breakfast. The cat bit the dog's tail. My daughter accidentally locked herself in the loo. And my punk rocker son practiced on his drum kit. This is John Bowl apologizing to his neighbors on the nine o'clock news. <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin! Your name's Rumpelstiltskin! 
Say her no, it's not. Yes, it is. We overheard you singing the song. We overheard you singing the song. Oh, what song? The one that goes, Rumpelstiltskin is my name. Rumpelstiltskin is my name. Oh, oh, that song. Yeah, right. Well, um, it was a joke, wasn't it? I was having you on. <laughs> ah, well, how can you prove that you're not Rumpelstiltskin? Well, I can't be Rumpelstiltskin, can I, for a start? My name's Eric. Ah! No, 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 no. I said Derek. I said my name's Derek. You must have misheard me. I said Derek. Yeah, All right, Derek, then. Yeah. Your name is Derek. Your name is Derek. No, it's not. It's John, and you've had your three guesses, so tough enough. <laughs> oh, but you just said it was Derek. Hell, yeah, I was having you on again, wasn't I? But that's not fair. You're not allowed to have people on in fairy stories. Yep. All right. All right. I admit it. My name is Rumpelstiltskin, but that happens to be my second name, and you were supposed to guess my first name. Which is? I've told you, haven't I? John and Eric. Oh. So you are, are you not, Mr. John Eric Rumpelstiltskin of 44 The Magic Oak Tree, Enchanted Forest, Fairyland? Uh, yeah. Oh, John, do we have to go through all this every time you get a parcel, eh? <laughs> <laughs> story once weekly about two ordinary superheroes, India Rubber Jones and his best chum, Cheese Plant. Having just returned from darkest Brazil, after discovering the source of the Amazon, they now turn their attention to darkest space. In the headquarters of Space Travel Inc., IR and CP discuss the problem of traveling into darkest space with the head of Space Travel Inc. The situation is this, boys. Darkest space. Nothing much is known about it. We need to travel there, but being darkest space, we're afraid we won't see much. See your problem, boys? G.I.R., this is serious. Okay, head of space travel, Inc., or can I just call you Inc.? Sure thing, I.R. Thank you, Gladys. It's like this. What you need is to be able to see in darkest space. G.I.R., you think fast. Think nothing of it. And so they didn't. I have come up with this ultra-sensitive, light-seeking, special darkness probing device to fit almost any exploratory spacecraft. Gee, dear Robert, what, what is it? Space Torch. And with that brain-busting revelation over, India Rubber Jones and Cheese Plant received the highest awards ever given to man. And so, as the sun rose in darkest space, they good bad bye, sorry, bad goodbye, and vowed to return again next week for another episode of The Adventurers. are going to put a man on Mars. Here at Mission Control, excitement runs high as last-minute checks on the computer are meticulously carried out. Dan Evans, Mission Controller, points out some of the planets to be encountered along the way. Pluto, Saturn. Experts check for any last-minute hitches. Life on Mars, you bet. And here's an example of a typical Martian. <laughs> But it's a lonely ride for Jim Mallins, the man who'll command this mission. Here he is taking the shuttle to the launching pad. Good luck, Jim. Final countdown. Spirits high, concentration tense. One more check, ignition, and it's Bon Voyage, Spaceship Britain. Mr. Spock. What are those things coming out of your face? I would have thought it obvious, Lieutenant Uhura. These are the final... frontiers. <laughs> and now, this! How do you know if there's an elephant under your bed? I don't know, so how do you know if, the if there's an elephant under your bed? Because your nose is touching the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get if you cross a baked bean with an onion? I don't know. What do you get if you cross a baked bean with an onion? Tear gas. <laughs> <laughs> what shell and comes in slices? I don't know. What is shell and comes in slices? My mum's custard. <laughs> what has a bottom at the top? Hmm, I don't know. A leg. <laughs> Why did the boy cut a hole in the top of his umbrella? I don't know. Why did the boy cut a hole in the top of his umbrella? So he could see when it stopped raining. <laughs> <laughs> what has four pairs of legs and can't walk? 
Oh, no, 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 Hi, Earth Chant. Today you cannot see me. Cool, yes? And the reason is because I have this machine that I have just invented called a milk materializer. And as soon as I press button A, I will materialize. There. This is a very advanced piece of technical... Bah. There you are. Many months of work have gone into perfecting this. But obviously not enough. Crazy machine. Oh well. Back to the workshop. SY and W. Whenever I'm down in the dumps, I always buy myself new hats. Oh, so that's where you're getting from. <laughs> what's green and sings? I don't know. What's green and sings? Elvis Parsley. <laughs> Why does a witch ride on a broomstick? I don't know. Why does a witch ride on a broomstick? Because the vacuum cleaner's too heavy. <laughs> What's yellow and goes up and down? I don't know what is yellow and goes up and down. A lemon and a lift. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sir Walter Raleigh. Ah, Sir Walter. Mum. And... Uh, what have you brought us back from your troubles this time? A potato. Yes, yes, how nice. Put it with the others, will you? As you wish, ma'am. <laughs> I wish she'd hurry up and discover something else. <laughs> And name that tune in one. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. My name is Dr. Square. I'm a scientist by trade. And you never will believe the discovery I've made. I mixed a brand new potion up in my laboratory, which had the most peculiar effect on me. First, I fell down. My senses swam. When I woke up, I was a different man. <gasps> now I'm Mr. Funky. Get down. Hip and hunky. Get up. Mr. Funky. Oh, me, oh, my. <laughs> Mr. Funky. Get down. Hip and hunky. Get up. Mr. Funky. A groovy guy. <laughs> In no time, I changed back once again to Dr. Square. Which is really rather boring, to be absolutely fair. And so I brewed another batch as quickly as I could. And even though I say myself it sure tastes good and sure enough, I changed again. And I became the funkiest of men. Oh, now I'm Mr. Funky! Get down. Hip and hunky! Get up. Mr. Funky! And here's my song! Now I'm Mr. Funky! Get up. I supposed to do? The dirt says hot, the label says made in Taiwan. 60% acrylic, 10% polyester, 8.5% viscose, other man-made fibres including common market regulation fibre number 468, 15% nylon, 3.8% mixed fibres including crimping at the specified 4 grams per 3 grams of wool, not exceeding the specified 4% rayon as per the guidelines and outlines laid down by the Brussels Fibre Committee of 1986. Uh, uh, help! Uh, help! Sir Lancelot, because I like to use my trusty lance in battle. They call me Sir Mace-a-lot, because I like to swing my mace in battle. <laughs> they call me Sir Hyde-a-lot, because I get frightened by all this fighting. <laughs> For me! Hello. Here's the 
news brought to you by the late, late Laser Linker. At the Winter Olympics, a sudden thaw has made conditions extremely difficult for the skiers. Abroad now, and the Chinese table tennis team today visited Hong Kong and were greeted by the very small member of the Hong Kong Parliament, Hai Po. While church bells rang out and choirs sang, it was a case of Hong Kong, ping pong, ding dong, sing song Chinese, bing bong, and little Hai Po. And for EastEnders fans, pictures of the new spin dryer being delivered this week to the Albert Square laundrette. <laughs> And now, exclusive to Laser News, a sneak preview of the new video from Madonna. <laughs> Apologies to Madonna fans for that. We got our videos a bit mixed up there. That was, in fact, as I'm sure you all noticed, the last video made by George Michael. any menu? No, we don't use them. <laughs> well, uh, how am I supposed to know what to order? You have to guess. Uh, yes, but you might not have what I want. Tracy, got a lady out here who needs some clues. What, another one? <laughs> All right, I'm coming. Oh. Right then. Well, we've got some of this. Do you know what it is? It's uh, an apple. Yeah, an apple, 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 turnover! Cool. We've <laughs> got a real slow one here, aren't we? Well, do you want it or don't you? Well, can I see what else you've got? Right then, love, we've got another easy one for you. Watch out! Well, you got it? <laughs> well, uh, no, not really. Duck a la rose! I don't like duck. Oh, oh, fussy with our food, are we? Right, give us some more, please, Trace. All right, well, I love a bit of this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I was enjoying that. Well, do you get it then? Oh, yes, I think so. Meatloaf. Oh, I think she's catching on. I said, could I have a go? Be my guest, love. Be my guest. Well, then. Have you got any of uh, this? Ah, oh, let me think. Uh, shepherds. Shepherds are. Uh, sounds like. Shepherds. Uh, shepherds. Shepherds, 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 pie. Pie. shepherds pie. No, love, it's off. Oh, yeah. Some old. This. There's another customer down the edge. Shame. I was getting myself all worked up for the Spanish omelette. <laughs> What do you call a Russian who delivers fizzy drinks? I don't know. What do you call a Russian who delivers fizzy drinks? Drop a bottle of pop off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready, Sir Walter? You're on, ma'am. Good. <laughs> yes. Well, I think that strengthened my arm for the royal way. This is her ladyship's drawing room. This is her ladyship's bedroom. Aww. This is her ladyship's bathroom. <laughs> Before. Yeah? You been here before? Nah. Been to Salisbury? Nah. Canterbury? Nah. Tewkesbury? Nah. Glastonbury? <laughs> Have you really rang a bell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Push the button. State complaint. Well, Doctor, I've been having these dizzy spells and I can't keep my food down. Very well. Take three of these between meals and stop eating. Eh, eh. <laughs> but how can I take them between meals if I'm not eating? Next. <laughs> Press the button. State complaint. <laughs> take two spoonfuls before going to bed. But this isn't cough medicine, it's a bandage. Next. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, come on, you stupid machine! It was never like this when old Dr. Rafferty looked after me. Oh, you are nothing but an overrated lump of metal. C can't you get anything right? Ah! Ah! My oh, thank you very much. Next. <laughs> And so, Mr. Albert Chirpy Simpkinson, for continually impersonating a budgery girl, I sentence you to six months behind bars. Have you anything to say for yourself? Oh, it's a pretty boy, then. Oh, it's a pretty boy. <laughs> Yes, yes. You like this? It's a new one. Oh, Didn't yeah. cost me a penny. It's a freelance. <laughs> <laughs> the horses are ready for battle. Right. Have you saddled them? Oh, yeah. Have you bridled them? Oh, yeah. Have you shooed them? Ah, not yet. <laughs> shoo! Shoo! Go on! Shoo! Go on! Shoo! 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 Uh, Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, how's that for a dumb dingo? Must have a kangaroo loose in my top paddock. But that's the flaming loo. <laughs> Ouch! Where goes that? Why, it's only me, Johnny Jill. Is he drowning? Adrian? Aye. Well, this is Adrian's wall, isn't it? Well, I brought some of my study cakes. Let's try one. Eating lad, the ferment in the wall.